What's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a really excited integration that just happened between Be Cool and Celeram. Now I have individual videos on my YouTube channel on how to use Be Cool, which is a repricing software. It's a way for you to reprice your books. And I also have an individual video on how to track books uh, with Celeram, essentially how to track your book purchases, track your inventory so you know how much you're spending on books. Also, you know, what you sell books for, how much profit you're making, all that stuff. But up until this point, the two never really talked to each other because they're independent softwares. Now there's a way that they can talk to each other and I'm going to do a little bit of live sourcing over on BookMind and show you how you can actually set up mid and max prices through Celeramp but do that for Be Cool all on one page. It's really cool and I'm excited to share it with you. All right everybody so I'm over here on BookMind which is a arbitrage software that my good friend Victor Gallegos and I have made. A lot of BookMind members out there and it's an awesome software. It simplifies Keepa, finds a lot of really awesome books that you can source in. This is, you know, one of those books, Women in Shame. It looks like we can buy it for $44. It's an extremely short supply. It's got a BookMind score of five. So, you know, BookMind score can go up to 10. Obviously the closer it gets to 10, the more likely we think it's profitable. But here's a book that has historical sales in the hundreds and the eighties and the nineties kind of going down over time. You can actually see the offer count has taken a pretty big dip here. Probably what's happened is that this book has historically become very undervalued because of more people on the listing than normal and somebody probably bought a bunch of them. But you can see this is a book that has really held some amazing value since 2018, 2019. And it's, you know, has plenty of history of selling for well over hundred bucks. So this would be a book that I'd be interested in, especially considering that the offer count of this book is now so low. Now, what you would normally do when you identify a book you want to buy at Amazon you would obviously, you know, look at all the different offers. And so, for example, this offer from HPP Red is $40.21 plus $3.99. So what I'm going to do over here on Seller App is go ahead and type in $40.21 plus $3.99. Essentially, there's a, a, you know, a profit calculator here. I'd say for a book like this, I'm probably aiming to shoot between, let's say, $89.99 and $99.99 for a minimum and a maximum price. But you know, you can see if I were to type in both those values, if I were to sell for 90, that's a $24 profit. If I were able to sell it at 100, that'd be a $32 profit. And what you can do, you know, a seller app is you can essentially one click track this. So I can say, you know, I found this with a bookmark and I can then go ahead and export it to my Joji 2024 spreadsheet. Again, I have a video on how to use seller app to track your book purchases. That'll be linked down below, a really awesome video. And I'll tell you being able to track your inventory is important, especially at the end of the year when you have taxes and you need to know how much money you've spent, how much money you made and all that stuff. Now, if you do want to support the channel, the easiest way to do that is if you are going to use seller app or be cool, then use my links down below. It'll give me a small kickback and some of them may give you an extended free trial as well. Now, what would happen is if you actually buy this book, it would eventually show up, let's say in Be Cool, if you were using Be Cool, and you'd have to then manually reprice it, which means I'd actually have to go over to Be Cool, log in, and set a minimum and maximum price. So doing that would be like coming here to Be Cool, logging in, and when I find a book that you know, I purchased, I would have to go and put in my buy cost, my minimum and my maximum price, and then enable repricing. So essentially, you know, the tracking of the book through Celeram on the actual Amazon listing and the min and max prices through Be Cool, they're independent actions up until now. And what you can do is actually go ahead and reprice right here on the page. Now, the only thing that's a little bit trickier is remember that this is a book I've never purchased before. So this book isn't technically in Be Cool yet. So what we will have to do is kind of export this to a new listing that eventually will populate there in Be Cool. So what I'm gonna do is actually kind of show you how, you, how it works and then I'll go ahead and show you how you can configure it for yourself if you're interested in using it. So I have to scroll all the way down to the bottom where I have Be Cool here. Uh, by the way, you can kind of change where you want it to be. I should probably change it, change it so that it's up here closer to the top, but you get to see that this says you have not listed this product on Amazon before. Export cost, minimax price, and rule to Be Cool repricing. Be Cool automatically start repricing once your new product is successfully launched on the Amazon Seller Central. In other words, once there actually is a listing on Amazon Seller Central for this product, it can then show up in Be Cool and then the minimax price can then be synced up, which is really cool. Normally you'd have to have, you know, waited for the book to be listed on Amazon Seller Central, then go into Be Cool and do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and export a new listing here. And what I can do is just go ahead and input the buy cost. So I know the buy cost here was $44.20. And I'm gonna be listing this and let's say, you know, I was, you know, good. It's supposed to be used very good. I'm gonna go and say, this is gonna be just used good. We'll go one grade under. Now, 
for additional costs, you know, we can put 225 just so that we, that's my prep center fee. And for the mid price, like I said, we could do 89.99. And for the max price, we could do 99.99. And for my repricing rule, I'm gonna go ahead and use Joji's profit rule. You can have a video on what Joji's profit rule is. That's a, again, the be cool individual video I made a little while ago. If you guys want me to make an updated video, of course I can do that. Just let me know in the comment section below. But all I would need to do is click export and you can see export completed. Log in to be cool to check the export status or update cost min max price and the pricing rule. Now, again, once this product shows up on Amazon Seller Central, right? Once it's been shipped to my prep center, my prep center is listed on Amazon and then shipped into Amazon, then this listing can show up on Beacool cool, and now those values will be synced with it. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Really cool that that's a new feature and I'm excited to be using this going forward so that I, I can actually set my min and max prices right there and then rather than needing to actually do with it independently. So really awesome. So I'm scrolling a little bit further down here on Bookmine. Here's a unital resuscitation and structure manual. We can buy it for 772 all in shipping. That's, you know, including shipping, good price, normal supply. It's got a Bookmine score of five. And the reason why I'm clicking on this is today's price is right around like 35 to 40. Or sorry, today's price is right around $7. It's sold for about 35 to 40 in the past just by looking at what the use price has been with these multiple solving drops. And you can see, you know, basically since 2021, 2022, 2023, it's sold for well over 35. It's just had a little bit of an increase in offer count, which is why it's come down in price. But you can see how the offer count is already starting to respond to this cheaper price and starting to come down. So again, here's another book that I would go ahead and buy. You can even see that $35 is the buy box price, which is already kind of what my target price is anyways. But again, $759 would be the, the price of the book I wanna go ahead and purchase. You know, $759, 96% feedback, 97% feedback. So I'd purchase both of those books. So again, what I can go ahead and do is go ahead and put my cost price of $759. I could come over here and export it to my Joji 2024 spreadsheet, which has all the books I purchased this year, which is cool. And then what I can do is come to the bottom and export this to a new listing. So I can go export to new listing. We're gonna go ahead and say this is used good condition. Product cost is $7.59. For, you know, prep center fee of $225. The mid price, I'd probably put at like, you know, $30. And I'd probably put my max price right around like $37.99. I think that'd be a good range to sell this in. I'm gonna use the Joji profit rule and I'm gonna export that as well. Now, again, looking at kind of what those prices will look like, $32 would be $8 profit, you know, $37.99 would be a $13 profit, 180% ROI, and this is a book that I'd buy probably two to three copies of, I think it can do really well. Now, how exactly would you set this up over here on Amazon? So the way that you're gonna do this is you're gonna actually have to click the setting icon at the bottom here, seller ramp. So remember, no matter where you're looking at seller ramp, you know, whether or not it's on the left or the right or in the middle of the page, you know, wherever you're looking at the page, you're just gonna have to go ahead and click on the setting button. I just like to have seller ramp show up on the left-hand side for me, but click on the little setting notch here. And once you do that, you're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're gonna see be cool is right there. Now, by default, it's gonna be off. You're gonna go ahead and need to turn that on. And when you turn that on, you're also going to need to configure and essentially log into be cool and log into seller up and have the two talk to each other. So you're gonna go and click the configure button and it's gonna give you step-by-step -step instructions here. In order to enable this integration, we need to connect your seller up account to your be cool account. I mean, that makes sense, right? You want the two to talk to each other. You're going to need them to be linked up. Log in or sign up for a be cool account. You can sign up using this link or you can use my link down below if you want to support me giving a small kickback. I think you also get an extended trial. Now within be cool, you're gonna to go to active, listings, settings, general, and turn on the seller amp SaaS integration. And then essentially you're gonna get a key and um, you're just gonna paste it down below. So simply copy and paste your be cool token into the fill below. So you go ahead and paste your token. My token's longer than that, but it's like half the, the token length, but it's a string of letters and numbers. So you'll just copy and paste it there. After clicking connect, your Beacool account will be connected to your seller, seller app account. You can now enable and move the Beacool SaaS panel via your SaaS settings. Okay, so really cool there. Now I'm seeing if maybe we can go ahead and move this. Yeah, so essentially, let's say we didn't want Beacool at the bottom. I can go ahead and actually move that up. And we can have that at the top if we want. So let's see, we can move this to who wanted to right under the Google Sheets right there. Or actually, I'm going to move it right under Seller Central because I use the Seller Central point there. And now we should be good. I think we just have to click save at the bottom. We should be ready to go. And now I just refresh this. You can see it right under Google Sheets, right under Solar Central. I've got Be Cool there. So now it's in the middle of the page rather than all the way at the bottom. So I thought this was a really cool video. It's a good way where you can now buy your inventory 
right there on the listing page, say your min and max, max price right there. If you're using Beeple, if you're using a different repricer, obviously, you know, this video is moot, it doesn't really matter, but I thought it's really cool. So again, if you want to support the channel, yeah, sign up with the links down below, give me a small kickback. If you want to try out the best online book arbitrage software on the market, then try out Bookmine, free trial. We have a Bookmine Academy, Bookmine YouTube uh, video, you know, Bookmine YouTube channel. So we got a lot there to support you. Uh, really excited uh, to see you guys in the next video. So bye-bye.